everyone, it's Gage and I am back today with another video. Today is going to be a rant basically. So in general I'm not a very big ranter at all, but this topic is very important to me and I felt very passionately about it so I felt like I needed to express some of the frustrations that I was feeling and voice my opinion basically. So recently Men's Health in Germany found its first transgender fitness model to appear on the cover of the magazine. The model's name is Ben Meltzer and he is like a fitness model. He's a female to male transgender individual. He's very attractive, I must admit, but his appearance is not the point of this video. So I first found out about this news on Twitter, which I was very happy about. I was happy that such a big magazine like Laverne Cox was on Time and Caitlyn Jenner was on Vanity Fair. Just It was another win for the trans community in terms of exposure. So I was happy people were saying positive things, commenting nice things about it, and I was just really pleased with the progress I felt that we were making as a community in terms of trans people being in the media. However, recently People Magazine covered the article, and for those of you who don't know, People Magazine is a very big magazine in the United States of America. So it reaches a lot of people, they sell it in like every store that has magazines in it, so it has a very large scope. And when I first found out about this, I was kind of happy, but also kind of hesitant at the same time because this is the internet basically. People can say whatever they want and especially when it comes to trans issues, people can be ruthless. So I was very scared and nervous about what people would say about him being on the cover of Men's Health. I also tend to steer clear from the comments in regards to articles that are about trans people because I just want to not subjugate myself to the negativity and read all the ignorant, closed-minded, uneducated people that are commenting in the comment section. It's just it's very, it's just not fun, honestly, and it's very draining. For some strange reason, I was compelled to scroll down and look at the comments. And upon looking at them, I was actually very surprised at what I saw. So I'm just going to read some of the comments that I saw about this article. Alright, so the first comment, he's hot. <laughs> Second comment, he's hot, convincing indeed. Yvonne is a pretty name though, Ben, kind of meh. Anywho, good for him. Wow. Ben's doctor is one hell of a doctor, that's for sure. Usually you can still tell a little if someone has transitioned, but you can't tell at all. I wonder if he still has woman parts though. This is one transgender where after being told, I still don't see any trace of the woman he was. Holy moly. That's a good looking man. Okay, so on the surface, these comments seem positive, which they are. They are not inherently negative or bashing the fact that he is transgender. They seem moderately supportive. The inspiration for most of these comments is his appearance. And this really goes to show how prevalent passing privilege is in our society. I remember a while ago there was an article about a transgender teen who wanted to get her picture retaken for her driver's license. Mind you, this girl was a teenager at the very beginning of her transition, so obviously she didn't look the most passable by society standards. Comments on that article were ruthless. They honestly made me sick. People were saying things like, you should burn, you should just stay the way that you were born, you're an alien, you're a freak, you have mental problems, you're ugly, just all of these horrible things to this innocent teenager. Or even Caitlyn Jenner when she first came out, people were saying such horrible things about her. And I would say Caitlyn is pretty possible, but because of the exposure that she had gotten before transitioning, and also due to her large stature, people are still very rude. And going back to Ben, people are saying he's hot, he's attractive, good for him, like, like it's no big deal. This just basically perpetuates the idea that it's okay to be transgender if you are possible. It's okay to be transgender if you look good, if you look like a biological man or a biological woman. But if you're not passable or you don't look like a biological man or a biological woman, then you're a freak. You're a monster. You have mental problems. You should just stay the gender you're born. So a lot of cisgender people worry about maintaining the perfect image, being the perfect weight, having the perfect body, the perfect hair, all of that. Trans people have to deal with that, but they also have to deal with the pressure of passing. And it's not something that you can just change in the snap of a finger or in a couple months of going to the gym. 
You can't go to the gym and work out a feminine face. You can't go to the gym and expand the size of your hips or lessen the broadness of your shoulders. These are things that we weren't biologically born with and things that can only be changed through years of hormone therapy or even expensive surgeries. So this idea of passing privilege really puts a toll on transgender people, especially those who are very early in their transition. They're constantly worried about financing their transition in terms of surgery, laser hair removal, hormones, and all these things just so they can fit in and be passable due to society's high standards. It basically goes with the ridiculous belief that a lot of people seem to have that trans people are transitioning because they are insecure and they want to trick men, trick women, trick people in general on thinking that they're something that they're not. That no matter how much they try or how much they change, no one is going to accept them for the gender that they're pretending to be. I don't know about any trans people watching this video or any trans people in general, but I personally don't care what anyone thinks about me. Furthermore, my transition is for me. My transition is so that I could feel comfortable in my own skin, express my personal style, express my personality, and express myself and my gender identity to be the person that I want to be. And if you have a problem with the way that I look, the way that I dress, the way that I talk, or the way that I act, I honestly don't care. Because this transition is for me, I'm doing this for myself so that I can live a happier life. I'm going to live that happy life regardless of all the people who try to tell me I'm not passable or I have mental problems or I'm not pretty enough. I don't care because at the end of the day, if I feel confident with myself and the progress that I've made, then that's all that matters. Passing is not also something that we have to worry about just in order to please other people and to appeal to other people. It's something that we have to do to stay safe. It's no secret that transgender people, more specifically trans women of color, experience the highest homicide rates of mostly any group on this planet. So safety is a very big concern of ours and passing and safety go hand in hand. The better that you pass and blend into society's standards lessens the chance significantly that you will be victimized by somebody due to the fact that you're transgender. Those of us who aren't so lucky to be passable or aren't so lucky to get surgeries or go on hormones are subject to this violence that people express towards trans people. It's not just something that we feel like we need to do in order to be beautiful and to be accepted by other people, but it's something that we have to do to be safe in order to live our life in public. Just the sheer fact that there are people out there who are so angry and so bitter at the rest of the world for unknown reason, to where they have to express hate on someone's identity, someone's gender identity, their sexual orientation, the way that they dress, the way that they sound, all things that have no direct correlation to their life is such a big deal to them. I personally don't agree with a lot of things that people do, but I'm not going around and commenting hate comments on everyone and judging them and being rude to them for no reason. Everybody has different beliefs. It even goes beyond the scope of just transgender issues. That's just how the world is and that's how humans are. I'm not asking anyone watching this or anyone in general who doesn't agree with the lifestyle that transgender people lead. If you don't agree with it, that's fine, that's perfectly okay, you have your own opinion, and I'm still gonna live my life. However, just because you don't agree with it doesn't mean you have to express hatred towards it. You don't have to accept something to be tolerant. I know I'm not a giant YouTuber or an influential person in the trans community, but if somebody watching this video gets inspired or uplifted by the things that I'm saying, then I feel like I did my part. So if you're watching this video and you feel down about yourself, you're not so passable, you're still early in your transition and you're still worried about what other people think about you, I'm just here to tell you that you are beautiful, trans is beautiful, and you are a wonderful and brave person. Anybody who has the courage to openly express something that is not publicly accepted by society and live out their truth regardless is a brave person. And that's what all of us are. Easier said than done to just completely dispel what everybody says about you. I like to think that I don't get offended by anything on the internet and the truth is I kind of do, but that's only because I'm human. Everybody kind of gets hurt about what other people says about them, especially if they're rude comments. However, there's a difference between getting your feelings hurt and showing that your feelings are hurt and letting that person actually get under your skin. I honestly just really can't stand the world sometimes. Sometimes I think about how just annoying everybody is. That was my little rant. 
I know this is something that probably won't change. I just felt like I needed to say something about it. Because I feel like a lot of us trans people, we lose the whole idea of why we're transitioning. We feel like we need to fit into society. We feel like we want to be accepted by other people and seen as our true selves. But at the end of the day, the most important thing about our transition is that it's personal to us. This is something that we have decided to do on our own to make sure that we are comfortable in our own body. At the end of the day, if you're comfortable in your own body, regardless of what anybody else says, then you're set. So that was it for my video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it somewhat inspiring or entertaining to watch me ramble for like 10 minutes about how I hate people basically. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more updates on my transition and also more videos on transgender issues in general. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a run or something to get all this aggression out of me because it's bottled up and I wanna punch someone. But until I see you all next, trans is beautiful, stay safe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.